Welcome back, Danger Cats. I put a lot of extensive research into this, and if you read the thumbnail like I thought you did, you already know what you're prepared for. If you've never been in these neck of the woods before, we always, and I repeat, always start a good little rant with some Chewavslowski. That's right, little thinking fuel, brain food, if you will. That's right. If you read the thumbnail, you already know what this is about. This is a serious issue. Facebook fucking sucks now since you old bastards have infiltrated this fucking what used to be a glorious app. Me and my friends used to share the dumbest of videos and offensive memes and all this shit. But since you old gray haired fucking coffin crawling sons of bitches come around, you fucked it all up for us. You fucked us. You fucked us hard on what used to be a great social media platform. And I'm gonna explain to you how you did it. Now we all know, every time some old son of a bitch comes rolling around, you know there's gonna be some bitching and complaining. Exactly what I'm doing right now, but I'm bitching from the sense that you ruined something that was great. Listen here, Frank and Glenda. It's not the fucking 60s no more. Now not only do you come onto this platform and not how to use it properly or even get the fucking name right. Half the time I'm talking to some old bastard or you see these old bastards, their comments are just, they blow me away. Like for instance, I seen one the other day. Why is this guy on my Facebook? I'm gonna tell you right now, this is how it works out. Somebody will watch this video, maybe share it or tag you in it and that's where you get notified or it will pop up in your newsfeed and that's why I'm on your Facebook, you stupid old bastard. And just like we thought it was gonna be so cute and fun to have our grandparents on Facebook so we could all laugh at it and it'd be great because oh, grandma's over here in New Hampshire and I'm up here in Canada. She can finally stay updated about the grandkids and what I'm up to and all this shit. But then she realized what kind of person you really were all the dumb shit that you're sharing and tagging your buddies in and it really upsets her and so she got smarter and started flagging all your content and flagging all this and bitching and complaining if you don't believe me go in the comment section of some of the funniest fucking videos on Facebook and read and then click on the fucking comments that you're like what in the fuck then click on that person's profile guess what that's right you guessed it it's a fucking bed shitter whining I can't believe it we're back in my day we would never do something like that like fuck you know what back in your day you know what you used telephones for was two reasons to make a phone call where you can only circulate around about probably a five foot distance and the second reason being domestic abuse because it was the heaviest piece of fucking machinery you could hit your significant other with and that's back in the day when that shit was still not frowned upon. And guess what? Frank and Gladys, like everything else, times have fucking changed. Just like we can use our cell phone while sitting there taking a shit, I can order a pizza, call my friend, and tweet about it all at the same goddamn time. And you don't even know what the fuck a tweet is. But that's okay. We'll leave you Facebook. I don't really come on here just to post videos and stuff like that. And guess what? My comments are always the same. It's some blue haired bastard just being like, hey, you're a lot funnier a year ago back when you were doing oil patch videos. Yeah, and guess what? You also didn't have a foot in the fucking grave then either. Since I'm leading the charge with the danger cats here, I'm gonna be a nice guy. We're gonna let you have Facebook. You can have this platform to post all your, if you love your grandson, love, like this photo, bullshit, because it's all gay to me. I don't, I hate it. I miss the offensive memes. I miss the dumb fuck videos. I miss, you know, the great mashups and content creators that would come here to make this app glorious. But that's okay, you can have that. We've moved on. We've moved on to other media platforms which I'm not gonna say because I don't need you running to your grandson or granddaughter and being like, hey, what's that guy on the Facebook where well, he was talking about the gram of Insta, the, the, the Instagrammers? 
I need to get on that because I'm a grandpa and I'm married to a grandma. Know what? Just fuck off. Leave the social media to the younger generation, please.